Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to do this is definitely a general read. It may or may not resonate. If it resonates with you guys, that's a great thing. Okay, that mean that it was for you. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. For my cross readers. Yeah, we know y'all be cross watching. I said cross readers. I meant cross watchers. We know y'all be watching. Y'all can hit the thumbs up as well too. <laughs> All right, so whatever pops out, pops out. That's what we're going to discuss. It could be about love. It could be about money, career, um, whatever the situation is. This is what we're going to discuss. This is what we're going to talk about. All right, so let's let's hop into it. All right, let's do it. Give me a message for the collector, please. I'd rather be with you, boo. Yeah. Would you ever be with you? I'd rather be with you, boo. Yeah. Boy, I'd rather be with you. Hold on, y'all. Casey. Close the door. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, y'all, we got the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is someone who is having a nostalgic moment, looking back over the past. You could be looking back, reviewing your past, because um, we got the Hermit here as well. It's like, so you're evaluating the past. You're looking over the past. You're thinking about something from that happened in the past that you, you, you're you kind of like, you're physically moving on from it, but I feel like you still think about it. It's like your body has moved on, but your mind is still kind of like lingering on it, okay? You may be spying on this person. You may be looking to see what's going on with this person. Or this could be vice versa. They could be doing this to you because we got the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This is someone who feels like someone is flirting. Someone has someone new in their life, a new man specifically, but it could be a new a female as well because this could this is a general read. It go either way. I do see definitely some spying going on. All right, so let's find out why there is. I want to know more about this spying. It's about something in the past. Something somebody is thinking about their past here. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, a lover from the past. We got the love card. All right, so definitely spying on a lover from the past. Yep, we got camera right here. This is reminiscing, uh, perceptions, learning from the past, and making memories. So definitely somebody is spying on someone that they used to deal with. Okay. I feel like someone has not started dating someone new yet or have been dating someone new but they don't feel like that person is uh their match i see like someone's looking at somebody's pictures like when they were when you two were in a good place we got photographed and and paradise all right We got the Hierophant here, which is Taurus's energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, as well as the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So we got fire and earth energy here. It could be any sign. They could just carry this energy. So 
someone someone's trying to manifest someone back into their life that's what i'm getting to be honest i feel like this is someone that you're dealing with energy i don't feel like this is your energy i feel like this is somebody trying to manifest you back into their reality tell me why the magician is here could be a sagittarius Why is the temperance here? Tell me why temperance is here. Show me more temperance. The lovers. Mm. Does this say make sweet love? <laughs> so, this person is reminiscing about you two being intimate with each other. Um... This person is really, 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 really over here in their feelings. This person is really over here in their feelings. Ooh. Let's get married. <laughs> Happily ever after. Let's get married. So, for some of you, this is someone that you were married to. Because we do got the Hierophant card here. Queen of Pentacles giving me very much so wife energy. This could be someone that you were married to. Or this is someone who you guys um, could have been together for a while. They wanted to get married to you. They wanted you around. They wanted, to, um, wanted you in their life. But some reason, I feel like they let their ego get the best of them. Okay, they let their ego get the best of them. I feel that. I feel that. I feel like they let their ego get the best of them. Why is high feet here? Chariot. Then we got that Ten of Swords and that Knight of Wands and that Three of Cups. See, this person feels like they can't go back to you. They can't come back to you. They feel like you have moved on from them. They, they, they it's like they saying like, dang, we can't even be, we can't even mess around. Dang. We can't even mess around. What a cherry in here. Yes, two of cups and the seven of pentacles. This person wanted to grow with you. Like they this person thought that y'all was gonna grow old together. I'm definitely picking up on a Leo. But this person has so much passion for you like this person is very much so attracted to you this person could be very well attractive um like they just light up like you are the light of this person's world um i do feel like like i said some of y'all could have been married to this person legally married y'all had some type of agreement or y'all been together for a long time um could have been with the capricorn but the situation was kind of toxic. But I'm getting like maybe there was a... Like this person is addicted to you. They're addicted to you. Dang. This person... No, they messed up. Oh, I told you this person sitting here looking at your pictures. We got, I like you. I like you. 
this person is liking your photographs. If you're sitting around taking pictures of yourself, this is what's causing this person to reminisce about you. This is causing this person to think about you. I feel like this person messed up because they were out here chasing karmics. Um, you may have gotten away. You are the one that got away. You are the one that got away. They out here chasing karmics. Don't have to the ones here. The world. Okay, so they have a decision that they need to make. They need to close a chapter here with this karmi. They know that they have to close this chapter with this karmi in order to come towards you. This is a decision that they know they have to make. They went out here and got in a relationship with the karmi. Yep, this person wants you. This person knows that they would have to break up with their karmi. In order to get you back. Look at this. Three of Swords. They know that they got to break up with this karmi in order to get your attention. So this masculine can find his way, sneak his way back in. Sneak his way back in. They know that they got a choice that they got to make. Tell me about this, this Queen of Wands energy and this world card. Yep, didn't I tell you, coughing, this is endings. They know, and then look what's right up under that, hammer. They, oh, and then the Grim Reaper. Sabotage. The Grim Reaper is the relationship is over. They know that they have to sabotage this connection that they got with this karmic in order to come back to you. Because right now, they mind is on you. They're, they spying and looking at you, Okay. Ooh, ooh, the challenge is Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. You are bossed up. You done leveled up. You have bump, been bumped to the next level since you and this person have not been together. Okay. This person also knows that they gave you time. Um, you was gonna figure figure things out. So they knew if they gave you enough time, their intuition was telling them that they give you enough time, then you would figure everything out. This person is hesitant to reach out to you. They they do want to talk, but they know that they done messed it. They know that they done they they messed everything up. Like I said, some of y'all lived with this person. Y'all had a place together. Y'all could have been married. Y'all could have been together. Y'all, this is your twin flame. For some of you, I feel like this could be a twin flame. And y'all are in separation. Mmm. This person feels like they need to open up to you, have a conversation with you. Because they are over here sitting up here having regrets. They're sitting over there having regrets that they've been um, holding back from you. They don't want you to know that they've been having regrets. That they regret some type of decision that they made. Okay? They want you back in their life. They want you back in their life. They want this divine feminine back in their life. They know that with the decision that they made, it was irrational. They feel like it's time to tell this karmic goodbye. That maybe they should just be friends. They might to tell this karmic, maybe we should just be friends. Mm, they feel like it's too much at stake. Wow. 
they getting ready to tell this karmic that they think that they should be friends. Now, for future energy, we got the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. I see somebody here starting a business. This person, this masculine here, could be starting a business. Um, they could find something, trying to find something that they're passionate, passionate about to keep them focused. They got some ideas that they want to talk about, but they don't want this karmic to be anywhere around when they bring this, when they bring this energy to the forefront. Okay. They're trying to get rid of this karmic. This, this, uh, masculine, uh, has had it with this karmic. The tower. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah, this masculine. We got the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. This a karmic is going to be offering this masculine uh, a gift or money, trying to get him to hang around and stick with her. She's giving this masculine. She's giving this masculine all the attention, all the praise, all the worship, giving him everything that she got because she don't want him to uh, to leave. The thing about it is, is this masculine done got caught in so many lies. Okay, we keep showing out as the devil. This masculine keeps showing as the devil, but he done got caught in so so much BS. Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. He done got caught up so many times over and over again. This karmic already knows the truth about this masculine. She just want to keep him. Keep him away from you. So she's doing everything that she, that she can. But this masculine say, no, this, this, uh, what we doing right here, this, this, this is going to crumble. But I feel like also too, all right, yo, this masculine is having these thoughts about, okay, if I can't get back to divine feminine, then what? Then what I'm gonna be left with? I'm gonna be dealing and trying to build something by myself. This masculine is afraid of uh being single, being alone. He's he is tired of he tired of his karmic. He tired of her. He feels like she's holding him back. He feels like um she's holding him back. But see, she's trying to tell him, look, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. He been trying. The thing about this is, she's trying to force him to change. Okay, he actually put the effort in to try to be a change, the change, but he's gonna get ready to walk away because it feels like he feels like it's stressful. The situation is just stressful. It's stressful. He is most definitely like getting ready to dip out on this karmic. He about to dip out on this karmic. He dipping out on this karmic. And now he's sitting here watching you, spying on you. I feel like maybe if you're posting pictures or whatever it is, it's making him feel nostalgic. It's making him feel nostalgic. And every time he goes in the house and he's looking at this karmic, it's pissing him off. It's pissing him off. Let's use the love oracle. Show me how this masculine feels about this karmic.
this masculine feel like this karmic is super duper codependent as well as trying to control the relationship okay they don't have the same views they don't look at the relationship um the same And see, look at this. Release your ex. He let go of you to give this relationship a chance. He made the wrong choice. He made the wrong choice. He tried to put this relationship priority. He let you go to give this partnership that he had with this karmic a chance. Mm -hmm. Masculine feel like it'll be worth the wait. Okay? It'll be worth the wait if her finances is in place as in order. So he seems like he's the one that's codependent on her. We got Wedding Rings, Cupid, Arrow, and the Runner. He running away from a real commitment. But I'm telling you, it's because he's sitting here spying on you. He can't get over uh, the past. He's still hanging on to the past. He's still hanging, over to, hanging on to the past. See, he's sitting over here running away from this connection. I think it's, in a sense, it got his ups, but the lows are dramatic. He's running away from, why is he running away from this connection? Photograph, didn't I tell you? Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. Masculine is thinking about you. Tell me why sunglasses is here. Engagement ring. Paradise. Clock. So he feel like time running out. He feel like time running out. He feel like you got somebody new. And his time running out. Mm -hmm. He said, not today. He said, look, this karmic, he don't realize that this karmic is not his soulmate. He don't realize that. And now he ready to sabotage. He ready to sabotage the connection. He ready to end it all. I feel like he see someone else engaging with you. Someone else has your attention. And I, I don't feel like he's too happy about it. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding the conversation, call person boundaries, still angry. He's angry because you are engaging with other people. Other people are noticing you. Other people uh, is getting your attention. Yeah, because you started dating. You started dating somebody else. You done set up boundaries. You ain't easily manipul manipulated. Why he over here wearing his mask, over here pretending like he happy with his karmic, his clock steady ticking, and his time is up. So he know that. He know like, you know what? I'm getting ready to lose my divine, my divine feminine. I'm about to end this. I'm about to end this. I'm gone. <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.